Well, welcome back. Today we're talking fashion on Localite. And at this segment, we have Bailey Watson. And Bailey Watson is also a uh, member of the fashion club at the Hood River Valley High School. And I understand that you did all the uh, design work for the posters for the recent event that ended up being quite successful. I did. And actually, <laughs> it's funny that you mention it because when we did the original poster designs, they had words like um, killer kinetic fashion. And Kathy Stever, who was kind of in charge of it all, didn't like the idea that we were going to use the word killer. <laughs> she uh -huh. thought it would be a totally different audience coming to the show. So we had to edit it a little bit, but I think it turned out pretty great. Yeah, yeah. Did you actually do did, did the design work itself? Yeah, the, the, the layout little, and all of that? Oh, the final layout, no, with the little ticket pieces floating. I designed the, um, the logo for the, you know, the girl with the sweeping hair and right that, yeah i did that part and i came up with the words and stuff but the final layout was put together by someone else okay all right well you did a good job inspiring that <laughs> well thank you so um i understand too that like seven o'clock the event was supposed to start and it's kind of like gosh there's only <laughs> A yeah. few people here, like five or ten people, and just within a couple minutes, the place really yeah. filled up. Mm -hmm. So, um, was did you guys have some kind of secret plan there? Tell everybody, you know, be fashionably late or something. That's exactly or? what I was just going to say. You just took the words right out of my mouth. You're fashionably late. Yeah. Well, how perfect. <laughs> I know, right? Yeah. So, you know, are you wearing one of your fashions? I'm not. Everybody assumes that all the clothes I make. Um, you wear. Yeah. And, and that's not true. I only make wedding gowns, and if I wore wedding gowns to school every day. That would be a little weird, wouldn't yeah. it? Yeah. So let's talk about that, wedding gowns. <laughs> how, do, how do you come about wanting to design wedding gowns? Where did that come from? Have you ever gone prom dress shopping? Probably not. Myself, I haven't, but... Yes. Um, okay, well, no. <laughs> you can't imagine how frustrating it is looking for a dress that's not tacky or, you know, taffeta and all that nonsense. I just, I got really tired of having a hard time finding a good dress and so why not make one? And, and that's sort of how I came about doing evening gowns. Okay. I didn't show any of those in the show, but um, as far as wedding gowns go, um, I just like the fact that you can do whatever with a wedding gown and make it look okay because it's a big event and everybody wants it to be the perfect dress and so you can just do whatever you want with them. What do you think your style is for, fat, for, for, for wedding dresses from a fashion standpoint? Um, I like to think that my dresses are more like an Am Sale meets Coco Chanel. I don't, know, I don't know if that's right or not. But it sounds really good. <laughs> I, I like to throw in um, unexpected details, little Such black as. details. You wouldn't see black at a wedding typically. So that's what I like. It's edgy uh -huh. and different. And that's, um, I like to do that with my gowns. Do you do mostly gowns that are very, um, I don't know, I don't know if flowy is the right word, or, you know, with like a lot of um, the under skirting and stuff like the, that, or do you do more? The stuff? Yeah. Um, I, my first dress was for an EA project. It's this project that we have to do when we're juniors to graduate. And that one was a very simple silhouette, but it was designed to flatter virtually any figure type. It has the geometrical, um, concepts where they're all going in diagonals and stuff but um other than that i like to have volume but i don't like to overdo it you know the princess uh, waistline and mm -hmm. i don't know i think it's just kind of tired out and i like to play with the silhouettes okay what's an empire waistline an ampere waist oh okay well <laughs> that's how much i know about it what exactly is that it's where um, it's fitted at the top. It's like a normal top, and then you have the waistband right here, and then it just it's no figure from here. Okay. Similar to a baby doll top. Okay. And do you do wedding dresses like that as well? I have one actually here right now. I do that, and I have another one that is um, fitted at the waist, and then I have another one that's fitted all the way through. I like to, like I said, I like to play with the shapes. Cool. So. Now, have you had any of your wedding dresses actually go down the aisle? No, not yet. Not yet. It's coming. <laughs> yeah, hopefully. Yeah. yeah. Well, um, how did you come about getting involved with the fashion club at the, at the Hood River Valley High School? Um, last year, I remember hearing about people asking me if I went to the show. And I remember thinking, what show? 
I didn't hear about it at all last year, so I was pretty frustrated. So this and the first year, year was the one that was in the lunchroom or whatever? Yeah, something the, like that. Kind of along the, the dress for less yeah, sort yeah. of inspiration. Okay. And I heard they did a great job, but I was really disappointed that I couldn't be in it. So I went to Miss Deaver and I asked her about it. She invited me to be in the club. And um, I guess every designer has something to say. And so it's getting the opportunity to say it yeah. that's a big deal. And so I wanted the opportunity, so I jumped and join the fashion club. Great. Now, so you didn't model for them or anything before getting involved? <laughs> um, I've modeled before and it was a disaster. Why? I tripped. Really? Yeah. On stage? Yeah. <laughs> someone happens. had to. I, I'm glad it was me. I didn't <laughs> cry. If it were someone else, they probably would have cried. So. Yeah. Just but picked yourself up and kept going. Yeah. So. Were you in a wedding dress? No. Oh. Okay. I was in another dress that I made, but it wasn't, yeah. Okay. Well, talk about, tell me a bit about like what your plans are for the future. I mean, you're, you're a junior or a senior? I'm a senior. You're a senior. Mm -hmm. So this is it. Yeah. And uh, then w what's the plans? Oregon State, all the way. Oregon State. Mm -hmm. All right. Do they have some kind of a fashion design program? They have a great fashion design program, what I've heard. I've seen their websites and I've visited some of their classrooms. They have one of those um, recycled fashion shows. And Ooh. so I've been collecting dryer lint and I want to make a, I know, the dryer first. lint. Yeah. Okay. I want to um, felt it and make a coat out of it. Really? Yeah. So it's, I just like that their programs are so different and they're actually things that you're going to use. Um, I got accepted to the Art Institute of Portland as well. But I think I would rather experience college as a whole. I felt like if I would go to the Art Institute that I would be going to work. So I went to Oregon State. Smart girl. <laughs> Find something that doesn't feel like work, but pays you like a job. Exactly. So that's a, that's a very good thing. <laughs> yeah. Well, um, we're looking forward to seeing what comes from, from, uh, from your mind and, and your design style. So Bailey, thank you so much for coming on. It was nice Pleasure. to you. Looking forward to our next segment. We're going to discuss wearable fashion and sort of everyday type of things, but with that fashion flair. So when we come back, we will talk about that. Don't go anywhere.